Who did, sir? Oh, she knows her father. Hmm. God, sit down. Sit down where, sir? On my house. God forbid, Batin, I cannot, sir. Ha! Your lap, I cannot do. Come on. Chinazu, I asked you to sit down so you don't have to be scared. Sit down on my laps. Oga, I'm sorry, I cannot sit down in my Oga's lap. My Oga lap, I should sit down. God forbid. Oga, Oga I cannot sit down. No. Chinazu, why are you acting like a child? You know what I want. Oga, I'm a child. I am a child, Oga. Is it because I'm big? My age is very small. Forget this, my big body. I have small age. And besides, I don't know what you want. Now let me ask you, Chinazu. Why do you think I allowed you to stay in my house all this while? Hmm? Now, you, you, you should know I want you. I want to have you. And I've been nice to you. Come on, sit. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Oga. I cannot do it. I cannot, I cannot do it. I'm sorry. Huh. I'm sorry. Chinazu, don't be silly. Chinazu, I said don't be silly. Listen, let me tell you, no woman on earth has ever turned me down. What is your problem? I said, sit on my lap. Oh God, please, I'm sorry. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Please understand. Eh? I'm still a baby. I'm a child. Oh God, I'm, a, I'm a child. Jesus. Don't be unfortunate. Listen, you should be happy. I want to have you. Yes. You should be happy. Come on, come close. Listen, don't be scared. Hmm? I know you will like it. Okay? Oga, no, Oga, I will not like anything, Oga. Don't give it. Chinazu. I just dislocated my leg. Can you can you continue? No, I, I just need a place where I can relax, catch my breath before I can go home. Uh, Alright then, we could just go to my house. It's the next gate. I can't walk. My leg is aching me. Can I carry you? Won't I stress you? No, you won't. Okay. Let me carry you. Alright? Um... <laughs> It's alright, you know what, I'll just get them um, Bam to help shut the pain. Don't worry, I'll soon be leaving, I'll be fine. Well, if you insist, I'll be upstairs. I hope my presence is not in any way distorting. Oh, no, 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 no. I, um, you see, I have a meeting in an hour time, okay? I need to go upstairs and get ready. I'll see you shortly. Okay. Good. <sighs> Hello. What are you doing? 
doing? I'm trying to make a breakfast. You're trying to do what? You just got here for the first time and we barely know each other. But I'm in your house. I'm a woman. I know what is expected from me. I noticed there's nobody to make food for you, so I thought I should give you something to eat. Besides, you just returned from a hectic workout, so you should eat something. You should be thanking me and not interrogating me. Oh, please, forgive my manners. Well, thank you. You forgive and sit down. <laughs> sit down and eat so you can put body and soul together. You're not supposed to go out on an empty stomach. Remember, you're going out for an appointment. <laughs> I am just not used to this. Anymore. You should get used to it. <laughs> Meanwhile, how's your leg? Oh, it's still aching, but I'll be fine. It's alright, I'll drop you off when I'm going to work. So, how do you want your tea? Cold or hot water? Me, I prefer cold water. I'll go cold. Okay then. So, um, Thank you very much for the breakfast. It's okay. You deserve everything. After all, you were nice to me. Alright, so I'll see you some other time. Ain't you forgetting something? What's that? My contacts. Oh. Please forgive my manners. <laughs> I just dial it. So I'm going to dial it so I can have your number. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Okay, I have it now. <laughs> Okay, um, take care of you. Have a nice day. You too. Alright, bye. Bye bye. For you? <laughs> no, you're not serious. Yeah. Okay, we're coming. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Um, can I call you back? Yes, yes, I will. So, tell me, how did it go? Trust me, it's working towards perfection. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so, did you make the required move? Well, he's still playing hard to get, but he is going down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you were such a bad girl. You can say that again. <laughs> I trust you. Babes, this man is fine. Mm -hmm. His house, mwah, dope. <laughs> Everything about him is dope. <laughs> the guy again, girl. <laughs> I trust <laughs> you. I trust you. Yeah. Yeah. you baby. <laughs> Thank you so much. May God be blessed. We will continue to protect you. We will continue to guide you. Whatever you do, you shall always need blessings. I'm going to take a pop in your hand. I'm going to take it. Don't treat the world. Take it. Oh. I don't know, sorry. This one does not smell like other drugs. Oh. It's not as bad as you think. Oh. Just close your nose and swallow it. Huh? Oh. I'm not sorry now. Oh. Uh -huh. Good man. I'm going to take it. This one is good. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Aya, let me go and prepare something for you to eat here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll leave the cup for you. But you'll be drinking the water small, small. Mm -hmm. Who is there?
Oh, wait. Who is the fine? I'm here to see your boss. You know, say you don't come. Don't worry, I'm always welcome here. Uh, I beg one minute. No vest. No, I go confirm. Yeah? Okay. No vest. Hi. Hello. So, to what do I owe this August visit? Is my presence no longer needed? Oh, not really. That's not what I meant. I was just um, surprised to see you. Well, I didn't plan to visit either. I was passing by and decided to pay a surprise visit to a good Samaritan. A good Samaritan indeed. <laughs> so what do I offer you? If I need anything, I know where to get it. Oh, really? That reminds me, I need cold water. Let me show you what I mean. I told you, I know what I want and how to get it. Welcome to your new home. Really? Of course, really. <sighs> Ibuka, please, I'm begging you now. Give me this money. So you told me that you love me. Or don't you love me again? It is true that I love you. No, no, no. I love you so I love you from the bottom of the bottom of my heart. But the problem is you don't reciprocate that love. You only come to me when you need help. Or then my But that's part of love now. Love is when somebody needs help, you will give them the you give them the help. See, please I'm begging you, help me. I just want to save my mother's life. I need this money. Tinazo. I am not Father Christmas. If you need help, you work for it. That's so simple. You work for it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Fine. Lend me the money. You said? Lend me the money. I'll pay you back. No, 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 no. Are you being for me now? Nah? Yes. I should lend you the money. The one I gave you last, did you return it? No, tell me. The one I borrowed you last, did you return it? Listen. Let me just advise you as my very good friend. If you need money, come to my house. I will give it to you. Stop trying to cut corners. It will not help you. Hey, Buka. Hey, Buka. So, because you want to give me money, you want me to come and sleep with you first before you give me? Hey, Buka, really? Hey, Buka. Where's your conscience? Hey, 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 they don't sit like that. My conscience is a fool. Lying. Peaceful. Hey, don't sit like that. Why will I? No, 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 just. No problem. No problem, I blame myself. Don't lend me the money again. Don't give me again. My mother will be fine. Bet it. Huh? My mother will be fine. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Situation that made you come and start begging you money. There's no problem. Don't worry. Don't give me. My mother will be fine. Eh, today go. Ah, jeez. Wow. Eh, don't tell me you're having anger issues. See, I will be at home waiting. Should in case you change your mind. Waiting for what? Eh, I'll be waiting now. You just should in case. I'm not, see, it's not by force. So, no, I'm not forcing you. I'm just saying, in case you change your you mind. You fight for yourself. It's, your, it's you that will change your mind. You're looking for somebody to appear. Go appear yourself, Oku. No, just, just appear, Oku. No, I just... I don't, I don't know men like you that are looking for just, a little girl. They just, just if you change your mind. mind. You want to devour me. You want to devour me. You want to scratch yourself. But I, I will be at home. I know I will be at home. Try and change your mind, no, because here, yeah, eh? Why am I changing your mind? Don't you get bored living in this massive house all alone? Bored? Well, I'm a very private person. I maintain a very small circle. I, I like to be in my space. Wow, just like my kind of man. I hate men who keep plenty of male friends. You don't have to. Different strokes for different folks. I think it's just a lifestyle. It doesn't make them good or bad. Hmm? Well, I am a very private person. I don't like to be seen in means of plenty of people, you know. Um, I like to maintain a very small circle. So you see, we share same traits. Tell me more about yourself. My name is Nikki. Where is Nikki? She left not too long ago. I see. 
Why is she not taking my call? I wouldn't know. Maybe you ask her when you see her. Where did she go to? She didn't tell me. Why is my feelings telling me that you are lying to me? <laughs> Why would I be lying to you? Well, if you feel so, I wouldn't stand in the way of your feelings. I'll be inside. You can wait for her if you want to. You want more? You didn't tell me about your relationship status. Oh, that. Well, I'm single. Yeah. Okay, are you trying to say you don't have a date or something? Can we talk about this some other time, please? Okay, if you insist. Good. Um, I will be stepping out very soon. Huh? Okay, it means I have to take my leave. Nope. It means you can come with me if you don't mind. Of course. Well, then I'll just go upstairs and change into something more official. Okay. <laughs> All right, I will be with you shortly. I'll be waiting. You know how to help yourself if you need something. Okay. <laughs> Telling you, uh, you see, like I was saying, eh? You see this election that is coming, eh? You see, it will man you will conduct it, eh? And it America, it will go to America, and then it will come back to Man you. The Man you and the Manchester United will conduct the election in Lagos State, and then the Lagos State election will transmutate to Anambra State. Sir. The body will just carry it and then it will land in Ranger City. Papa, Papa, Papa my mama is what? dying. Mama is dying. What is this? Why are you dropping up at that like a confused monkey? Papa, Papa is dying. Mama is dying. Dying? Is she, is she dead? No. Yeah. And she's not talking. You see, you're a witch, but sit down, I'll, I'll give you a little. So I think. Hey, what? Papa! What is Papa, it? Mama. Drink some. So, some. It will calm you down. My mama. Up down. Mama. 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 Is she dead? No, 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 hey, she's not talking don't, again. Don't talk about this, are you mad? I'm talking to her, I'm talking about her, talking about her. Wait, if, if she died, come and tell me. Sorry, this is Get out of I'm talking about my you. I'm the lecture, you're talking about her. Come on, get out there. No, you're saying something. Like I was saying, eh? Isn't that why you prefer me to her? Yes, you're so sexy. When is she coming back? I don't know. She is executing our plan. I see. So we have the whole time to ourselves. 
Yes. Sip your drink and sweep me off my feet. Mm. Mm. So sexy, baby. <laughs> You're so sexy. Oh. Come on, girl. Take me off this world. I want to leave. Mm. Ah, mm. So this is one of your properties? Yes. Wow. You mean you're into real estate? Of course, yes. This is quite impressive. You're doing very well for yourself. Well, thank you very much. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Hey, baby. Oh, here. Please forgive my manners. <laughs> oh, oh. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. This is it. Nice. Mm. You want to take more? Okay? Yes. <laughs> Is this not the, 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 the person whose the daughter is running around the community to see how she, she can save the wife's life? Just, just, just take a look at you. You are a total disgrace to this community. You are a disgrace! Hi! Other, other, other fathers look for a way to sort their wife when they are sick. When the wife is sick. But yours, you just to go about drink, fall on the road. Disgrace yourself. Keep suffering your daughter. Right on. Keep suffering her. You look unsettled. What's the problem? Yes, I... I just used the, the restroom. Okay. How long have you been here? 
Long enough to know that you spent hours out there. Where are you coming from? I went to see him. Really? You're already feeling so relaxed and comfortable in his bed. Excuse you? Why are you acting as if you didn't initiate this idea? It was all your idea. You even forced me into doing it. So what's the fuss about? Yes. But you know I love you. So I have every right to be jealous. Well, I can back out if you want. We haven't really gone far. Come on, girl. You know we need this for our future. And for the future of our unborn children. So, the game can continue? Yes, the game can continue. So tell me, is there any improvement? Of course. He took me to inspect one of his sites today. Wow. He's already flaunting his assets. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that. <laughs> I wish he knows what is coming to hit him. Well, Casey, I don't feel too good about it. I love you so much. I just don't want this to make you change the way you feel about me in future or treat me like trash. Listen, my queen. I will forever cherish and treat you like a queen that you are. Once this deal materializes, yes, this is a sacrifice you are making not just for us, but for our unborn children, our future. I can never take it for granted, okay? okay. You know, I keep wondering what you two are up to. Man, I just get going and face your front and your bum. <laughs> you both can kill and bury without even the world bearing witness. I bet they go ready without battery. Okay, I rest my case. Let me excuse you. I I excuse, us. I excuse us. <laughs> like I was saying, I love you and I wouldn't want anything to change. You must be very tired. Dinner is served. Nikki, you're here? Yes. You didn't tell me you were coming. I wanted to surprise you. You told me you were going to have a very busy day, so I thought I should make you dinner so when you come back we can eat. Oh, that. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Are you still going to make it back home today? Because it's... um. Getting late. Of course. Oh. <laughs> In that case, I'll just um go upstairs, freshen up, and then come back for dinner. Okay, hurry up so your food doesn't get cold. I will. Thank you very much for the surprise. <laughs> Welcome. Yes. Was really needed. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Ah. Thank you so much for this delicious meal. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. 
<laughs> You're welcome. I need to go upstairs to catch some rest. I'm really tired. Hmm? Okay. I'll just rest for a while. Then I'll go. It's alright then. Maybe I'll see you when I see you. Hmm? <laughs> uh, good night. Have a lovely night rest. Thank you very much. I thought you said you wanted to get some rest before leaving. Oh my goodness. I must have slept off. Oh yes, you did. What time is it? Well, it's past midnight. Jeez. How do I go home? My gate should be locked by now. That's not a problem. You can spend the night here. If you don't mind, I'll just show you to the guest room. Hmm? Then I have to go. Why? I have phobia sleeping alone. I'm not used to it. Let me quickly call my girlfriend to see if she's still awake. All right. Yes? She's not picking. She's not picking. Baby, you're good to go. Look at you. You're looking so dashing. Baby, I made your favorite. Never mind. I'm not hungry. 
Is anything the problem? What's wrong? I'm fine. Course, I would have told you I was calling. You called? Yes, I did. Check your phone. Ah. Oh. oh, yes, you did. I had a, a couple of missed calls too. Sorry, my phone was on silence. I, I didn't hear it ring. Ah. You look on ease. Worried. What's the problem? Talk to me, man. I think I made a mistake last night. Mistake? What happened? I slept with a strange girl. Just that? You slept with a strange girl and you're feeling this unsettled? Come on, man. Why are you sounding as if what she both had is horrible? I mean, we barely know each other. We met a few weeks back. And then I already landed out in bed. It's crazy, man. Come on, man. You're a man and you don't need to get yourself worked up about nothing, okay? Besides, when it comes to women, we don't look for a leap, okay? Just just let it go. But seriously, um, I thought you just told me now she's a stranger. Were you aiming for centuries before you get to bring her into your bed? Come on, man. Come on. You know me very well. You know me. Yeah, you know. I do. I don't, do, I don't play like this. I don't. I just feel she played into my life. Charles, calm your nerves down, okay? Stop getting yourself worked up over nothing. Okay? Listen, there is nothing to bother yourself over. Just let this girl go, okay? Just forget about her. Let it go. Meanwhile, um, <clears throat> that um, contract that told you about, how far with it? What do you think of the property? Are you interested or not? Um, uh, I already handed the documents to my lawyer just to look into it. Okay, that's fine. Let me tell you, but let me make this very clear to you. Eh? Sitting down here for donkey years, crying over the death of your mother, do not solve any problem for you. In fact, okay, now I understand. Ah, you are sitting just like a witch, mourning a witch. Because that is how witches sit. Yeah? When they mourn witches. Yeah. That is it. Look at you, witch. Let me tell you. Men seeing you, men looking at you, men beholding your face aggravates me. In fact, it, it, it inflames my anger. Yes. Let me warn you. You had better find your way out of this compound. Otherwise, one day I will strangle you. Yes! You're a witch. You came out. You blocked all my sons. All I need is a son. Up to now, look, look at me. At my age, I don't have a son to bear my name. I don't have a son. Because you, with your evil, blocked the way of all my sons. Prevented them from coming into this world. Because you want to sit down. You want to own everything. Look at you. Witch. Nonsense. 
Have you not had breakfast? Forgot? No. Yes, I've actually had breakfast, but. I but was, what? But. I but was, what? Will you shut up your mouth? I am talking. You are talking. Sorry, Oga. Will you shut up your generation? What is your problem? Sorry, Oga. Huh? Sorry, Oga. You had breakfast by this time of the day. You want to have lunch. What is your problem? Can you talk to me? I'm. I'm sorry, Oga. I'm sorry, Oga. Shut up and let me talk. I've told you whenever I'm talking. Keep quiet. John, what is your problem? That is why people like you don't make it in life. Yes, people like you end up dying wretched, poor, and, 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 and useless. I'm, I'm sorry. Are you doing this show? It's eight and eight and eight. I'm sorry, Oga. Sorry for your cost generation. I said sorry for your cost generation, for your whole lineage. Sorry for them, not me. Do you think uh, eating is how I pay my bills? Do you think that is how I pay my bills? I'm sorry, Oga. Get busy! Sorry. Is this how you think I pay my shop rent? Or I pay my house rent? You must be very stupid. And you! Yes, who are you? How can I help you? My name is Sonia. I... We don't need house help. What is wrong with low lives like you? I said we don't need house help. Is it so difficult for you to comprehend? I am not... I'm not here for... Oh, you don't have the audacity to reply me. I said we don't need house help! Take your filthy bag and get out from this place! No sense! If I catch you here again, I'll break your leg! You never told me you had a younger sister. Did you ask me? I didn't tell. I'm sorry. I never knew you had a younger sister. If I knew, you I don't think... You should have listened to her, Nikki. I'm sorry. Well, it's all right. I didn't know you'd still be here by now. I thought you were going to leave in the morning. Are you indirectly asking me to go? Are you supposed to leave here with me? What about what we shared? Does it stop you from going to your house? Huh? Okay. Excuse me. Why does it? Sonia, what is it? Brother, hope you're not planning anything serious with her. And what do you mean by anything serious? Like marriage. Hope you're not planning on getting married to that girl. Because that girl is nowhere close to the ideal woman for you. Can we, can we talk about something else, please? Huh? Please. Brother, you want to skip my question? You should know that girl is a direct ticket to the grave. That girl will kill you. She's a Jezebel. How have you been coping in school? I hope all is well there. School is fine, but... One more word about her. And you find yourself in the village with Mama. Famine. John, 
John. John, I'm talking to you now. Why are you walking out of me? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. What's up? Stop are you, are me you there for? I don't understand. What is wrong? What all this again? I don't like it though. Like, I don't like it. If I like, came, I don't even do this night. I beg. I, I'm done talking to you. I beg. Rubbish. You want to infect me with your witchcraft? Stop! Get out of my way! Get! Get out of! Hello, good day. Good day. I'm here to see your brother. Does he know about your coming? No, but it's important I see him. You can drop the message. I'll deliver it to you. Nah, uh, it's very essential I do it myself. Really? Yes. Hey, baby. Nikki, you didn't tell me you were coming. Your phone wasn't reachable. Same thing everyone is saying. Here. And what is this? Well, I hope you're fine. I am. It says you're pregnant. Yes. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so who's responsible? Who's responsible? That should be good news. No, no, it's not. How do you mean? How am I sure she didn't tell me that or ask her to marry me? That's why you have a doctor. Listen, man. All you need to do is confirm. You take her to see your doctor for her to run a pregnancy test. That's what you need to do. Why all this happening to me? It's happening to you because it's the right time for it to happen. Bro, listen. You are not getting any younger. Just look at you, man. <laughs> You're getting older. Besides, you are the only son of your parent. Don't forget that. So what are you saying in essence? Maria, man. Oh, come on, bro. How can you say a thing like that? How can I settle down for someone I barely know? That's not possible. Listen, there is nothing impossible here. Okay? All you need to do is draw closer. You get to know her better. 
This is the perfect time for you to know this girl better. Just try her clothes, okay? Cheer up, man. You'll be fine. Is there anything in the house? I'm, I'm furnished. Help yourself, you know your kitchen. Sure. Brother, what bothers you? Sonia, I'm fine. You are not, brother. And that is ever since she came. What's going on? It has nothing to do with her, all right? I'm fine. Brother, remember I'm your only sister. Sonia, can you kill this curiosity for God's sake and let me be? I like to be left alone. Oh. Fine. Should I prepare your lunch? I'm not hungry. But are, you are not hungry and you said you are fine. I said I am not hungry, Sonny. Can you just let me be, please? Let me be. Oh. We're going to see my doctor this evening. Is it that you don't trust me? I do. It's just that I need to be sure. Alright? We did it just once and telling me that you're pregnant from me sounds strange. How many times does it take one to get pregnant? I know. Alright, I know. I just need to be sure. Please don't misunderstand me. Okay. If you insist. Thank you. We'll see my doctor this evening. I'm very sorry for doubting you. It's fine. Anybody in your shoes will do the same. So what do we do now? I don't know. But abortion is not an option. Which means you already know what to do. You know what? Let's do this way. You give birth to this child. I'll take care of you and the child. As what? As baby mama. Please put some respect to my name. So what do you want me to do? I can't possibly marry you. It's not possible. You can't marry me. But you can sleep with me and get me pregnant. No, where is the gentleman in you? Tell me. Nikki, you instigated that. This is what you've always wanted. I don't know what you're talking about. But I am not going to give birth to a bastard. Listen up. Just take me home, please. Can you at least hear Look, me? Out? There is nothing to listen to. Charles, if in two weeks I don't get to hear from you, I'll run away with your unborn child and you will never set eyes on this child again. I don't know what I'm doing in your stupid car anyways. He's not yet back. Yes, mom. Huh. No. You look sweet, oh. Thank you. He in a rina put up again. Ah, down. My dear, please get me something light. Okay, oh. mama. Let me take your bags inside. Mama, ah. thanks for the food items. Oh, my dear. Anyway. Hey, He's not back. Charles, I, are you saying the doctor confirmed she's pregnant? Yes. 
and she's not ready for an abortion now. In that case, um, that shouldn't be a problem. Let her keep the baby. You need it. She's insisting I marry her. Else she's going to run away with the child. That's a big one. What if you're not a biological father? The doctor said it will take 12 weeks before a paternity test could be carried out. That's true. The doctor is right. So where do we go from here? She has to abort that child. She must abort that child. You just have to. I bought Guinea. Eh? My grandchild. Mama, when did you come? When I came does not matter. What matters here is that you got a woman pregnant and you are talking of abortion. Yeah, you are talking of killing the child. Kibongwa chuku nergi. Okuya? Enna. Possible welcome. Hi! My son. It's like you don't want your father to be proud of you. You don't want him to be happy wherever he is. Um, I'm not even sure I'm the one responsible for that child. Did you sleep with that girl or not? Answer me. Because it's only a woman knows the biological father of her child. Get yourself prepared. We are going to their place to perform the marriage rites. You must marry that girl. And make sure you provide everything that she needs. Make sure whatever she needs, you provide it for her. So both of you are talking of abortion. Weapon <clears throat> I'll talk to him. Talk over to him or Make sure you talk to him. <clears throat> Charles, we've heard Mama. We're going to see our parents for the proper marital rights. We intend giving birth to that child. You already know the answer to that. Of course I won't. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love that. Yes. Listen, this is the plan. Get him to marry you. Yes. Take pills to abort the pregnancy. Then pretend you have miscarriage. Yes. So after that, always take birth control pills. Frustrate him. Make sure you frustrate him. Make him feel the pains of a desperate woman. Yes. Make him feel the pains. Frustrate him to an extent that he will have no option than to file for divorce. Yes. After that, when he does that, Definitely, his properties, investments, assets will be split into two. You will take your own and come back to daddy. By then, definitely, I must have finished our marriage plans. Then we locate and give our children a better life. Mm. Casey. Are you confident everything will work according to plan? Everything will work. I have confidence.
Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, my daughter. Who are you looking for? I'm here to see Charles. Charles? You must be his wife to be. Are you the one carrying my grandchild? I'm carrying Charles's child. Hey! You are already his wife. My daughter, you are welcome. My grandchild is in you. Let's go inside. Hey! Wait, let me open door for you. Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. This is your house. Eh? See, don't mind him. You are not aborting any child. You are already my son's wife. His wife. Oppose it to be. Oh? Mama. Odobu. How are you? I'm very well. I'm enjoying the company of your wife. I see. Nikki, how are you? I'm fine. You didn't go to work today? Um. I decided to take a day off so I could rest. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said it. She can make a good wife. Mm -hmm. eh? If an alien, she will take good care of you. Henda. Henda. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mama. Mm -hmm. That lady you are forcing my brother to marry is not really who you think she is. She's not good for my brother, Mama. Huh. Will you shut up? What do you know about marriage? Let me ask you, Sonia. What do you know about husband and wife? Tell me. Mama, mm? I might not know much about husband and wife, but I know about character. Mama, that lady doesn't have character. You needed to see the way she treated me the very first day I met her. In my own brother's house. Mama, that lady is no good for my brother. She's not even close to the ideal woman for my brother. Did she know who you are? Is she supposed to treat a stranger with so much disrespect? It's none of your business. Long ago, I've been asking your brother to get wife for himself. To get a wife for himself. But he insisted. Now, this is an opportunity. This is pure miracle. And let me tell you, Sonia. I will not let this slip out of my hands. She is pregnant. She's carrying my grandchild. If not grandchildren. Advice. Keep it to yourself. Oh. Have you picked a date yet? Well, I'll go see her people by the weekend, pick up the list, and also make plans for a date. Wow, that's good. I think I like the sound of that. But if I may ask, do you love this girl so much that you want to spend the rest of your life with her? To be sincere, yes. I actually wanted to fight the feelings, but um, the more I did, the more I, um, I was hot, so I let it slide. So why were you refusing the idea of marrying her before? You totally declined all ideas regarding that. The thing that is, I did not want commitment, but I couldn't fight it. Everything was happening so fast, I didn't have time to think. And I don't know, I feel like she had everything planned out from the very beginning. Well, if you say so, uh, I, I think maybe because she wants you. Yes, but if you ask me, I don't see her being a problem here. She's not a problem, bro. She's not. Uh, but um, as regards to her marriage commitment, I will advise you have to take a bold step, bro. My advice, I think you should have bought every idea of postponing this. Something you and I know you will still do. Just go ahead and marry this girl and forget every negative thought. Well, I'm happy my mother is around. 
at least she's making things easier for me and also helping me make good decisions. <laughs> your mother. You see, that's why I like your mother. You know, mothers are demigods, you know. They're always there to provide advices, which we want. And I'm sure she's playing her role very well. She's always there when you need her the most. Yes, exactly. Well, um, it's lunchtime for me. Let me take care of the lunch. I have to give me time to put this together. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hmm. Your cut wedding is around the corner and you're here to conclude plans. Well, I've done lots of arrangements. I'm not going to keep myself. I will make do with what I have on that day. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Soon to be bride. You can see that again. You should get a man, you know. You know, I envy you, Sha. But wait, what of um, Casey? What becomes of him? I don't know. I didn't make him broke. He chose not to be responsible, so another man took over. Nikki, you need to make him understand. At least let him know why you're choosing this path. Me? I don't owe him any explanation. He should go to hell for all I care. But he consign me. Hmm? Incoming, Mrs. Speaking. I envy you. See you. A plan that just started like a joke, now leading to marriage. Hmm. Girl, I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Well, like I said, Go and get yourself a man who color be one. I don't color be one put for corner. Go find your own. Me scared so. <laughs> See how you sound like it's so easy. Color be one, color be one. Mm. It's nice, it's my sister. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Please let's cheers. Mm. <laughs> it's not easy at all. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, my sister. God has done it. <laughs> Where are you going to? I'm going to the city. Do you know anyone in the city? Yes. My friend Chidima. I've already called her. She said I can stay with her. Ah. Good for you. Well, you may go. But don't ever think of coming back because uh, uh, I won't be needing you. Hmm? Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Go to the kitchen and help yourself with food. Or better still, ask your sister to do it for you. After all, she's a woman like myself. Excuse me, Abby. Good afternoon, Auntie. Keep your greetings to yourself. I don't need it. Look, I know you don't like me. I don't like you either. So let's maintain the same energy. Just so you know, your hate has no impact in my life. And soonest, I will teach you a bitter lesson, a lesson that you will never forget in your entire life. Useless, dirty thing. Trash.
I saw where they posted work and new days. They are cleaning up. I want to work. Um, are you sure you want to work for us? Yes. Have you gone through the terms as well? Yes, I have. You have? And you are very comfortable with it? Yes. Including the salary? Uh, it's not the same salary. And you are sure you can cope with it? Too? I don't have to wash very well. I can wash. Okay, just wait then. Let me get you the phone, right? Before then, just... What if she betrays me? She dare not. I will skin her alive. Hmm. She's going to die anyways. I am glad you know. I only want her to be fast with everything. <laughs> Honey, you know that girl is so funny. She actually think I don't know the plan. <laughs> Imagine she told me she broke up with you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's so smart. But you know, Socrates made me to understand that any day a woman falls in love, a fool is born. <laughs> <laughs> It's quite unfortunate that love turns her into a fool. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, mm -hmm. how much are we talking about? I don't know the, the, the exact amount, but I believe he worth more than 200 million. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> that settles us for life. And our kids. But I just... I just thought of something. What could I be? What if you're playing me too? And your plan is to run away with the money? <sighs> Baby, I can't leave my shadow. You're my shadow, baby girl. Erase such thoughts from your mind. Never do that. You dare not. You know I'm smarter than she is, right? I know. And by implication, you know what I can do. It will not get to that level. I assure you that. I do have a message. It's going to be so bad. Sonia!
what happened? Why are you going around land? Mind your business. Who is she? Who is she? I know they must have told you a lot about me. Yes, sir. Am I right? Yes, sir. Now listen, let me tell you. What's your problem? Sorry. Listen, let me tell you. I have zero tolerance when it comes to rubbish. I don't take nonsense for an answer. Are you hearing me? Listen, you're being here, you have to work hard. Like, you have to work very hard. If you cannot work hard, go. Am I well understood? Yes, sir. No. Get back to work. Get back to work! I've not learned anything. Hold your stand and look at me. Everything will be fine. Just be good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. What's the time? Uh, the time. It's 2 p.m. There's something I want to tell you. What is it? About your wife's miscarriage. Earlier that day. Have any idea about the drugs? Not at all, Boda. But she wasn't comfortable taking it. The way she was hiding, everything looked so suspicious. Are you sure about this? I'm very sure, brother. You can ask her. It's all right. Thank you for this information. I'm fine. You can't be fine. You've been like this for some hours now and you're telling me you are fine. I say I'm fine. I'm fine now. Ah, is it that you are fine or you don't want to share? Which of it? Um, well, if you insist, no problem. I have some deliveries that I need to go and give to Mama Veronica. So let me put them together, right? I, I don't know where she lives, so it's only when she comes here I know her. Chinazu, I'll give you the description and everything you need. Is that right? Is it Keke or Akada that we used to go there? Or Legedis Vence? Why would you be asking me that question? Anyone you decide to use, 
I'll give you transport, then the clothes to go and deliver. Oh, she does not have dog. The other day I went to the other man's house. Dog made me beat me. Look, I understand she doesn't like me, but lying against me to create a bad impression about me is totally unacceptable. I only asked you. I'm not saying I. I believe her. But what would she lie against me? What, what does she intend to benefit from it? You know what? Just let this slide. All right? I should let it slide. Really? Yes, really. Listen, she's just a child. Okay? I wouldn't have you exchanging words with her. I promise you I'll caution her properly. But for now, pretend I never asked you this. It's fine. There's an obstacle. What? His baby sister. That girl is a huge thorn on my flesh. Take care of her. How? How do I do that? Kill her. What? Yes. Are you that heartless? No, no, no. If this is going to get bloody, they count me out. I cannot shed blood. Listen, listen. The world is survival of the fittest. You have to uproot an obstacle for you to achieve your aim. Yes. And if you don't do it, someone else will do it. And for the first time, I am going to disagree with you. The answer is no. Capital N-O. All right, all right. So, what do we do? You tell me. That's why I'm here. To find a better solution. All right. Tell your husband to tell his sister to leave. And you think I haven't tried? I did, but he completely turned it down. He said his house can contain all of us. <sighs> Go to the market, buy three kilos of turkey. Make sure they cut it. Okay. Hurry up.
Bring her. There's something I'd like you to see. Here. Jesus Christ. What's this? Mm. Auntie, you set me up. You are evil. Sonia, I told you I was going to kick you out. A little ass out of this house. So now that you have seen these pictures, you are going to do exactly what I want. You will tell your brother that you're tired of living in the city and that you want to go to the village and stay with your mother. Never. I'm going nowhere. Really? Okay then. When your brother comes, I will show him these pictures and tell him you brought a man to his matrimonial bed and slept with him. Imagine what he will do to you if he finds out that you slept with a man on his matrimonial bed. This is unfair. Life itself, it's unfair. So quickly go in, pack your things so that when he comes back, everything will be very fast for you. Congratulations, I wish you good luck. Oh, life has been good so far. No, I am enjoying my life. <laughs> Baby, please don't stay long. I'm only dropping now for the pack. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Sonia, I send my greetings to Mama.
and you are crying. What happened? <laughs> He's my girlfriend. She drove me out of the house. <laughs> Why? What did you do to her? I did not do anything to her. I've been the one helping her. She, she, she said she, that her boyfriend is admiring you. Look at me that they are admiring me it's that okay. does not go admire it's, myself. It's what is okay. he able to admire? It's okay. <laughs> Just come inside. Let me take you up. Okay? <laughs> Just come Don't worry, I'll come. Don't worry, let me carry my boy. <laughs> Are dirty in one point. Why? What do you mean, why? Are you not supposed to wash and iron them? That's what? As a house girl. Before you got married to me, didn't you directly not used to wash and iron your clothes? What changed? Oh, you think you employed a house girl? I'm a wife, not a house girl. Get that into your thick skull. Am I supposed to take my clothes to the dry cleaner when I have a wife in the house? If you cannot send your clothes to the dry cleaner, wash them with your hands. After all, you're not disabled. Better still, if you cannot wash the clothes with your hands, throw the clothes away. Discard them. Stop stressing my life, please. What's wrong? What happened? Nikki! Nikki! What? What's going on? The dining room is empty. So? Am I not supposed to have breakfast before going to work? Please, if you're hungry, the kitchen is open. Help yourself. Are you freaking asking me, your husband, to go into the kitchen to make food for myself? You have hands. I did that for decoration. Make use of them. Go to the kitchen. Stop stressing my life, oh. Wait. Was it because of food you called me? Because of mere food? Don't try that nonsense again, oh. It's all right. When your blessing come in disguise, you don't know. You keep chasing. And where are you coming from? Why are you interrogating me? Look at your time, Nikki. It's past midnight. A married woman coming back to her husband's house by this time of the night. And to make things worse, she refused to take my calls. Why? Charles, I am in a marriage, not a prison. If you cannot cope with my freedom, you can as well file for divorce. It's as easy as that. What did you say? Nikki, what did you just say? File for divorce if you are tired of me. Please. I'm exhausted. Sometimes in your heart, you know, say you are on the wrong path. Due to greed, you won't just agree that you need 
a change thinking say you smart nobody fit compete you you keep digging your own grave why don't you turn a new leaf today there is selections for you this life of deception will bring you no gain make it what's wrong with you what has come over you? I'm not in the mood. You're not in the mood? When last did we make love as a couple? Weeks, months ago, so. So? Nikki, where in God's name am I supposed to get satisfaction from? You can help yourself. Help myself? Nikki, can you hear yourself? Are you seeing someone else? And if I am, any problem with that? Please, Charles, don't stress me. I want to sleep. Charles, I've been here for over one minute and you've not said anything. You sounded very downcasted over the phone. What's the problem? Talk to me. She wants a divorce. She wants what? What for? Why would she want that? She has been mischievous for months now. She keeps sleep nights. She doesn't sleep with me. She doesn't cook. She doesn't wash my clothes, no iron them. She does virtually nothing in the house. I tried to ask her what the problem is, but she she said I could get a divorce if I wanted. Um, I'm very sorry about this. I'm very sorry, I... But you see, divorce is not an option now. It's barely one year you guys got married and you're already singing divorce. No, man, come on. What do you expect people to, to, to say? Paul, you know me very well. I do. It's my peace over anything. I think at this point I, I agree with her. I want a divorce. You want what? No, no, this is not an option, bro. Divorce can't come into play now. It's barely one year you guys got married and you're already singing divorce? What do you want people to say about this? What would people say if I die due to trauma or high blood pressure? Hmm? You don't get it, do you? Good day, sir. Good day. Um, what's that your beautiful name again? Chinazu. Oh, Chinazu. I guess these are my clothes. Yes, sir, they are ready. Oh, okay. I'll take them from here. Thanks. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Oh, um, this is my card. Okay? I want you to call me later. I want us to discuss something very important. I, sh I should call you later. Yes, please do call me. Okay, sir. Okay? Please. Okay, sir. Bye bye, sir.
I thought you said you've quit smoking. What happened? I changed my mind. You didn't sound good over the phone. What game are you playing? I don't understand. What do you mean? The deal should be sealed by now. Why the delay? Yes, uh, she's yet to get the man filed for the divorce. And what is keeping her? I think we need to give her time. It's not easy. Why do I feel like something is going to go wrong? I know why I'm saying this. No one is going to play a fast one on me. You know that, right? I do. So can I at least get a warm reception from my woman, from my queen? Yes, baby. I love you. You know, you know how to make me happy. The way you touch me, you know, you're just everything. Kiss me. You're so sweet. You know that, right? Okay, bye. And who was that? None of your business. Nikki. Do you realize you're my wife, as I am your husband? Does it matter? Nikki, you're really pushing me to the wall. I swear to God, you're pushing me to the wall. And what will you do? You're do your worst! No, do it! I want to see you do your worst! Nikki, you slap me. And I will kill you if you don't let me out of this cage you call marriage. Look at this nitwit. Get out! Go, 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 go. Yes, sir. Oh, she knows how I'm sitting. Sit down where, sir? On my lap, God forbid, Batin, I cannot, sir. Your lap, I cannot do. Come on. Chinazu, I asked you to sit down so you don't have to be scared. Sit down on my laps. Oga, I'm sorry, I cannot sit down in my Oga's lap. My Oga lap, I should sit down. God forbid. Oga. Okay, I cannot sit down. She knows why are you acting like a child? You know what I want. Okay, I'm a child. I am a child, Oga. Is it because I'm big? My age is very small. Forget this, my big body. I have small age. And besides, I don't know what you want. Now let me ask you. She knows Why do you think I allowed you to stay in my house all this while? Hmm? Now you, you, you should know I want you. I want to have you. And I've been nice to you. Come on, sit. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Oga. I cannot do it. I cannot, I cannot do it. I'm sorry. Huh. I'm sorry. Chinazo, don't be silly. Chinazo, I said don't be silly. Listen, let me tell you. No woman on earth has ever turned me down. What is your problem? I said sit on my lap. Oga, please, I'm sorry. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Please understand. Eh? I'm still a baby. I'm a child. Okay, I'm, a, I'm a child. Jesus. Don't be unfortunate. 
Listen, you should be happy. I want to have you. Yes. You should be happy. Come on, come close. Listen, don't be scared. Hmm? I know you will like it. Okay? Oga, no, Oga, we don't like anything, Oga. Don't give it. Chinazu. Chinazu! Yes! Who is your papa? Papa, what have we done to deserve this ill treatment from you? What? You have done nothing. You have done nothing. Look at you. Okay. Your mother has taught you the language of witches. Yes! That is what you now speak. Imagine. I only wanted a son. A son! But you found your way, your, your, your evil way into, into, into her womb. Then locked all that so that only you will enjoy. Eh? Yeah? I wanted a son. Nonsense. Witch. Get out of there. Papa. You, you, you call me a witch. Your daughter is a witch. What else are you? No, what are you? And if I hear that papa again, I will curse you. And if I curse you, you remain cursed forever. You can never give birth to a witch. Nonsense. Say up, Hello, it's me.
What has gone over you? What is the matter with you? What is wrong with you? You want to know what has come over me? Yes! I want to know exactly what has come over you. Because you weren't like this before. What is it? Tell your friend to file for divorce. That is if he wants his sanity. Divorce? Yes! And never come to meet me for things like this again. Chinazu, hmm. what happened? He tried to rape me. What? Why would he even try such a thing? Oh, no. oh my God. You know what? Just calm down. Let's go. I'll take care of everything. I'm just Let's tired. Go. Just calm down. I know. Let's go. Why would he even... Why would he be tired? Don't worry. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just tired. You know he cannot come to work today because he would definitely want to punish you again. I know. You know what I think? Just stay back. When you're hungry, fix something and eat. Then when I come back, we'll definitely look for that possibility that can work out. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. So when I come back, we'll talk better, right? Good luck. Yeah, see you soon. I've asked my lawyer to prepare the divorce papers. I'm done with this marriage. Do you know what you're about to do? Yes. I'm about to divorce that devil of a wife. I don't think you have an iota of idea of what you're about to do. Just listen. If you divorce her, the asset will be split into two, half given to her, and I'm sure you wouldn't want that. That's exactly what she wants you to do. Her eyes have been on your property from the onset. That's why she came into your life from the beginning. Do you want me to die of a heart attack just because I'm trying to protect my properties? Oh, come on, Paul. I would rather split than die for this. No, Charles. She wants divorce and not you. But right now I think I want it more. No. She wants you to think you want it more. Listen, let's play it like this, okay? Why don't you allow her to fight for divorce? That way, you ain't splitting your properties into two. She have everything to lose. That's if she's ready for a divorce. What if she refuses? Wow, who are you? I don't understand. What are you doing here? I've told you, my name is Chinas. You haven't told me anything. Your name is nothing. Who are you? So, wow, wonderful. Just one week of travel and Jonas turned his poor house into a, into a position then, right? I don't understand. And about showers. I like, for real. Your yes. You're How can you come here and sit down comfortably in somebody's house, someone, someone's apartment? And you're asking me who am I asking you for that? For what? For what reason? Is that why you're calling me a prostitute? Hold on, yes. You deserve more than that name. Do you get? Now leave this place. I I'm said leave. Here, you have to. Cool. You have to get what? and leave here immediately. What? Like, what is it? Why are you continuing? You, 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 you have to go. 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 Okay. 
You mean the hotel with the strong form? The one that has the phone channel. <laughs> you know the last time I enjoyed myself on that brother? You're so good, you know that, right? <laughs> okay, talk to you later. You know what? I'd like to give in to your demand. A divorce. Go ahead and send me the papers with the benefits attached. Unfortunately, you have to be the one to do that. And you're not getting a dime from me. File for divorce and I'll sign the papers. You're joking, ain't you? I have never been more serious. Listen, you have two days. If you don't file for divorce, just look for somewhere and kill yourself. Else I'll kill you if you don't kill me first in this house. I will not share my hard end properties with you. Get that into your head. And what were you saying over the phone? I am coming from a meeting with Nikki. She said the man refused to file for divorce. And the man said she can do it herself. That he's not ready to share a dime with anybody. What a rant nonsense. Wait. Are you sure that girl is not playing with her intelligence? I don't think so. She sounded honest. You know, I'm beginning to suspect the both of you. Yes, because why are you siding her for failing to execute a simple task? You call it simple task. Initially, I suggested you do it yourself. You declined. Now you're saying it's a simple task. If it's that simple, why didn't you do it? Why? So you can discard me and run off with her when I'm done. I've always known you loved her more. And I've never trusted you. What the hell are you talking about? What are you saying? Are you okay? Do not taste my patience. Else, we will all go in for it. And I'm not joking about it. You're pushing me to the wall. You know that. bring her back into this house, right? And you have to do this to an innocent yes, girl? Yes, I have to. But she's not good than that. Can't you see? She's not innocent. She's a boyfriend snatcher. Meso? Yes! How can you come like... You know what? I'm done. Meso, I'm done with this relationship. I'm done with this hell you call a relationship. Just leave now that you, your body is still in perfect shape. If not, I assure you, you would go. live in pain. I will leave. But I promise one that I will still come back. I will come back for you. I will come back. Let's Meso, leave my house. No, 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 don't, don't worry, don't worry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about the injury you had to you, I'm sorry about everything. She's gone, she's gone, she's gone, you're safe now, right? Let's go and take no, no, you have to go and rest. You have, you have to rest. You, no, you have to rest. I insist. Yes, <laughs> 
Buddha. Good day, sir. Yes, good day. How are you? I'm, I'm fine, sir. I'm from um, Cosmos, the dry cleaning. You requested for our service. Oh, yes, I did. Please hold on. Let me put the dirty clothes together. Thank you. Here they are. Ten pieces, sir. Ten pieces, yes, I know. So when shall I be expecting this back? Um, sir, for now, we have low current. And once we have low current, our okay, washing machine will not work until night when they bring full current. So maybe tomorrow evening. Um, it's all right, sir. Uh, expecting you tomorrow. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes. have called me to come over instead of coming. Well, I am not here for laundry services. Are you sure everything is all right, sir? Did we iron your clothes very well the last time. <laughs> can I speak to you privately, please? Sure, you can. Kids, just go inside. I'll be back shortly. Um, see. Even when I told him that I have never done it before, the first time I tried. You still did not listen. Are you a virgin? Yes. Yes, I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. Why do you ask? Listen. I'm very sure everything happens for a reason. Okay? Thank you very much. I'll go to his house to go and collect. No, don't worry about that. My don't, clothes, don't, don't, my clothes. don't worry about your clothes. I'll get in your clothes. All right? What? Uh, it's only, what that cost you much? It won't cost me anything. All right? First of all, we'll get to the hospital now to take care of your wound. Afterwards, we'll get to a hotel, you know, for you to pass the night there. All right? Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. You'll be fine. What are you doing here? I hope there's no problem. There's no problem. I want us to talk, please. Come in. Hi, 
I don't have any money. I need this money as a matter of urgency. You just have to give it to me. You just have to give it to me now. Do I owe you anything? What is with this your stupid entitlement mentality? You insult me because I asked you for just 100,000 naira. Yes, because I'm not obliged to give you a dime. But I carried a difficult tax for you. And I paid you for it, didn't I? Oh, is that how you want it? Okay, let me make it clear to you right now. I am not leaving this house until I have the money. Now, cash. Are you mad? My husband's house? I will throw you out! Look at this idiot! You will throw me out. Then I will expose everything. I will say everything. Yes. Is that a blackmail? Maybe. The money. Cousin. My wife's cousin? Yes. Our new house help. Your cousin. Our house help. I don't get it. Did he say he's my cousin? Hold on a minute. What's going on here? I should be asking you because I, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, he told me downstairs that he's your cousin. And now you're telling me he's our new house help. Who exactly is he? Because I saw him downstairs drinking my wine. Oh, I was, I was going... You know what? I don't care who he is. Your cousin, your sugar boy, whatever. I don't care. I do not want to see that boy in my house again. Go downstairs and ask him to leave now. Look, Charles, I am legally married to you. Until you do the right thing, I have equal right with you to bring visitors into this house as much as you do. Really? Yes. If I go downstairs and find that boy there, he will not like me. I promise you. What is wrong with you? You should have told me what you intended to tell him before doing so. He wants you to leave, you have to leave. It's two ways. It's either I leave with the money or I leave the truth behind. Why are you doing this to me, Chris? You are the selfish and wicked one here. You want my landlord to throw me out of the house while you enjoy the comfort here alone? I don't get it. Do I owe you anything? I gave you this job because your cousin Casey suggested you to me. He said you can do the job. What wrong did I do to you? Stinginess and greed. That's the wrong you did to me. Well, I'm not going to talk anything again until you're ready to give me the money now. Your cousin is in my house. I know. You do? Yes, he needed some money and I don't have any with me. My husband wants him to leave the house. He wouldn't have met him in the first place if you have done the right thing on time. Well, I don't have the money. Are you freaking kidding me? 
You don't have 100,000 Naira. What have you been doing there? I haven't been a good wife. How do you expect he will give me the money? The whole idea was to file for divorce and get rich. Then what's the problem? He has refused to file for divorce. Then kill him. What? Yes, you heard me. You are his wife and you are entitled to all his property if anything happens to him. Kill him. I can't kill. No. That wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> Listen, you have seven days to do that. Kill him. Are you now ordering me around? I've been mad for so long. And you see me the last. I can see you are beginning to love him. You have seven days to kill him. Seven days. What is this? Sorry, girl. Awesome. Mr. Charles, I want you to calm down. Calm down? Yes. My wedding is in three days and I can't find my bride. And you're asking me to calm down? Come on, bro. Just calm down. Calm your nerves down. Everything will be fine. Yes. Hmm? Should be found. Um, Charles, you need to help us so that we can help you. Is there... Young man, I thought I clearly asked you to leave my premises. Why are you still here? And who says I cannot enjoy my own sister's husband's house? I can see you're mentally deranged. You now talk back at me. Leave my house now. I don't understand. Can't I, can't I enjoy my own sister's house again? Are you dumb? Ha. I'm asking you to leave my house and you're asking if you can't enjoy... Are, are you drunk? What's happening here? What's going on? He's asking you to leave. Then leave. Oh, I should leave. Okay, but before then, Charles, there's something I want to tell you. What nonsense do you want to tell me? Oh, have you tried knowing why your sister chose to go back to the village instead of staying in your house that she loves so much? What are you talking about? What is the time to say? Hello? Okay, okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, what are you talking about? What was he trying to say? Oh, my name is Nathan Mustard. I see. He wants in the family. Obviously. My friend, come back here. Give me the car key. Why? I thought you got the car for me. I bought it with my money. I already started in my name. It is my car. Give me that. Now, give me.
What did she say? She's not taking my calls. I told you. So what do we do? Babe, we need to re-strategize. Because it looks like she might be reconsidering all her options now. Which are? Get the divorce and run away with the money. Nobody try Yancy's my calability and remain the same. I will kill her if she tries that. Or stick to the marriage and enjoy the world forever. <laughs> that wouldn't be possible. So what's the way forward? Honey, I advise you calm down and give her some time. What are you doing here? Listen, pick every one of your belongings and move them to the guest room. You remain there until you decide to file for divorce. Until then, stay away from me. All right? But I'm your wife. Why should I be in the guest room? I am not your husband. Move to the guest room now. Now. Well, I'm going nowhere. Nikki. If you don't do it now, you wake up in the morning to find all of your belongings burning downstairs. I mean, every word I just said. Move them to the guest room now. Now. Actually, I came so we can talk as husband and wife. I don't have that time, Nikki. Meanwhile, you wait until you meet my new wife. Charles, you want to marry another woman? I don't have one yet, but I will very soon. Until then. Stay away from me. Move your things to the guest room now. Now. Now, Nikki. Now. Baby, I made you breakfast. I have not found a maid who's supposed to make breakfast for me, so until then, thanks, but no thanks. I made it from my heart. I do not want to eat your poison, madam. Really? Listen, you left your pants in my bathroom while parking last night. I brought it out for you and dropped it on the foot mats leading to my room. So pick it up before I return. Why would you drop my pants on your foot mat? You would have called me to get it. Oh, well, that's because I do not want you inside my room. So I brought it out for you so you do not have to wait until I return. Wait, hold on. You now lock me out of your bedroom, your wife? Have a very bad day, my dear. Of course I never did. But you see now I believe in soulmates. Paul, when you find your soulmate, your heart will never be at peace until you wire. Charles, you speak very highly of this woman. Why are you sure about her? What do you know about this woman? Not sure. A virgin at her age is definitely an angel. She's a virgin? Of course, yes, she is. Are you take no? You, you don't go there. Hmm? You, don't you go see, there. Um, right now she's homeless because 
She refused her boss from sleeping with her. That's as the highest level of decency. And it is rare. You should have been with me, Paul. Or don't you? Well, I'm um, proven beyond reasonable doubt. <laughs> Why am I to doubt you? Then what are you waiting for? Why not go ahead and um, do the needful? Meanwhile, um, how is Nikki? I don't want to talk about her. She belongs to the past. Please. You don't want to talk about her. She belongs to the past. She's your wife, man. Well, that's... Until I threw her out of my house in due time. I admire the man you're becoming. Not the weakling I used to know. What are you trying to see? No, I'm just trying to see I... <laughs> you're my friend. Well, I'd say... Uh... Here we are. So, good, good day, Mom. What's going on here? Did I tell you I need a housemaid? Why did you bring her here? She's my wife to be. Charles, you bring a girl into our matrimonial home and you're telling me she's your wife to be? What is wrong with you? We have nothing. Absolutely nothing. Come on. File for divorce. I will sign it. That's the only sacrament we have together. Until then, maintain your distance. <sighs> My love, I'm very sorry for that interruption. Hmm? Let me show you to our room, okay? This way, please. Charles! 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 Let me bring it back closer, okay? Let me bring it back closer. Papa. 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 Please be fast. Be fast. His temperature is high. It seems like the world rejects every step you take. Oh, when did the etika come? And sometimes you want to quit You question why you were born But remember, someday things go change <clears throat> wow. What are you doing here? <laughs> what a comfort you dwell in. You eat healthy. No wonder you are so relaxed. I believe you must have forgotten our future plans. Which future? Listen, we have no future together and you know it. You never loved me. You were just using me. Wow. I see. The poor girl found out. That is the reason you kept playing me. Bravo. I love that. You are a devil. Oh, oh, I am a devil. 
Is that why you've not been taking my calls? Listen, I do not want to have anything to do with you again. I am done with you, I am married, and I am never coming out. I have no problems with that. Yes. I already have plans without you. All I want you to do for me is to raise 200 million naira. So I will walk away and never come back. What? Yes. Wait, wait, what did you just say? <laughs> you must have changed. And your husband loves you now. But that is not my business. All I want from you is 200 million naira. And I will leave and never come back. Where do you expect me to get such ridiculous amount of money from? He has it. Get it from him. I'm not asking for too much. 200 million is not that much for me to walk away and never come back. Yes. You are sick in the head. I am never asking him for such amount of money. Get your stinking trash yourself out of my house. Get out, you animal. 200 million. I will spill the beans. Yes, you and I have a lot of secrets. And you know it. I am not making empty threats. You know, you know we have a lot. Yes, a lot. I don't want to start thinking about them. Just get me the money. And I will leave and never come back. Why is it here? Remember, 200 million naira. Else, you have yourself to blame. What have I gotten myself into? Forgive me. I was stupid. What can I say? I was stupid. Yeah? Please. I, I, you see, I don't even know where to begin. Yeah? Hey! I was, I was, I was too, I was too stupid to do. What should happen this weekend to you and your mother? Eh? Look at me! Hey! My dear, please. You see, I go to, I, I, I see families around, and the girls born into those families are even the pillars of such families. And I stupidly Oh God, please, my dear, forgive me. Forgive me, my dear. Yes, I, I should have been this weekend to you and your mother. Why? I look back today and the whole thing comes flooding through my head and I... I, I please, my dear, forgive me. Forgive me, please. Forgive me. Papa, tell me. What will my forgiving you do? Will my forgiving you bring back my dead mother? Will it? Will my forgiving you wipe away all the sad memories, all the insults you kept pouring on me while I was still here? Did you know the trauma you made me go through? The psychological trauma, Papa? It's all right, my love. Hmm? It's all right. Please. <laughs> It's all right. My daughter, please. 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 
this. You see, it was stupid of me. I should have realized that no gender, male or female, is 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 of more or greater importance than the other. Every child born into the family, whether a male child or a female child, is 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 of so much importance. Please, my dear. <laughs> To err, they say, as human, but to forgive, is the five. God Almighty who brought me to you knows your heart. Unforgiveness will only hinder your progress and success in life. Not forgiving him will do your conscience more harm than good. He is your father. He has asked for your forgiveness. You have saved his life. Please do not kill him by not forgiving him. Please, I beg you. It's all right, I understand. Papa, please stand up. Papa, please stand up. I will not stand up for you. I, I will not stand up. Papa, please stand up. I have forgiven you. I will not stand up until you have told me you are forgiving me. Please. Please. I have forgiven you, Papa. You are my father. I have forgiven you. Please stand up. Please stand up. Papa, please stand up. You <laughs> come here, you should be. I can't do that. Hi! <laughs> Wait, you're my beautiful daughter. Ah! Hey. Well, I'm happy to see this. Now that we're done with the um, pleading and forgiving, I would like to go straight to the reason we came. Papa, I have fallen in love with your daughter here. And as a matter of fact, I want to make her my wife. So we came here in order to um, know the traditional rights and everything that has to be performed so I can legally call her my wife. Mm. This is wonderful. I believe you want you to No. But I don't know where to begin. <laughs> but please, eh? I will need to consult with my. Kinsman, yeah, That's right. no, but for me, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> you, she's yours, eh? as far as I'm concerned. Hey, thank you very much, Papa. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Um, meanwhile, um, Papa, I, I got something for you. It's inside the car. Is that it? Yes, give me a minute. I'll be right back. <laughs> Please, eh? yeah? <laughs> no, hey, no. Good, good day, Ma. Keep your useless greeting to yourself. Have you got no shame and dignity? How can a girl confidently parade herself as a side chick in another woman's husband's house 
Who does that? Are you a prostitute? Your mother didn't train you well? No integrity? No nothing? Or perhaps maybe it runs in your family's lineage, in your family's blood. Cheap whore. I'm sure you, your mother, all of you sleep around. You sleep with different men. I don't blame you. I blame Charles. Useless thing. Baby. Baby. How are you? Stop. Right there. The next time you insult her family, I will throw you out back on the streets where you belong. And if you try to come back to my house, I promise you I will get you arrested and locked up for the rest of your life. Wait, is this what her charm has turned you into? You're comfortable living with a native fowl? Really? Well, you slash, my dear. She's ten times a better woman than you are. Know this and know peace. Don't try me, Nikki. Don't try me. This is my house. Don't try me. Somebody bring this thing. He said I should give it to you to give it to her. Who's the person? Do I know? Okay, we can go. Wait, wait, Edu, come. Yeah. Did you open this letter? No. Are you sure? How can I open a letter? I don't know. I did not. Not at all. Get out. Okay, ma. Take such risk. What if I had delivered the letter without reading it? Gold diggers are always very careful. They read everything that is supposed to get to their husband. Well, I don't have what you're asking for. Then divorce him. Yes. I'll lose everything. Of course. If you stay, I will lose. And I can't lose anymore. Remember, you killed my child. What is wrong with you? It was all your plan in the first place. Now you are being selfish. Listen, you have less than four days to raise 200 million. Else, I will help you lose everything. Can you imagine? He proposed to you after you told him your wedding is in seven days. Isn't that insanity? Huh. Like, I am still wondering. Like, I am still wondering what gave him the courts to think that I am going to leave whoever my husband is for a rapist like him. Mad people everywhere. Darling, if he confronts you again, you tell me. I promise you I'm going to deal with him personally. No, my love. You don't need to bother yourself over him. He's a tout. You're not a tout like him. 
Let's forget about that man and then uh, talk about something more serious. Hmm? How's Papa? Papa is fine. Yeah. I'm sure he's getting ready for the wedding. Yes, he is. He's getting ready for the <laughs> wedding. You must be so excited. So, so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to finally make you mine. Hmm? Me too. I love you so much, baby. I love you too. <laughs> You're shy. <laughs> Cosmos, are you stalking me? Doesn't matter. <laughs> what matters is I love you, okay? In your dreams, I am getting married in three days. And I can still get married to you in three days. Yes, I can. See, Cosmos, I don't just want to insult you. Respect yourself. Now listen to me. If I don't have you, no man on earth will. Cosmos, is that a threat? No. Just a word. Mr. Charles, I want you to calm down. Calm down? Yes. My wedding is in three days. And I can't find my bride. And you're asking me to calm down. Come on, bro. Just calm down. Calm your nerves down. Everything will be fine. Yes. Hmm? Should be found. Um, Charles, you need to help us so that we can help you. Is there anyone you, you feel or you think that may have a reason to hurt your wife? Um, yes. My first wife, Nikki. Your first wife? Yes. Okay. Thank you for the information. Let's see what we can come up with before tomorrow. Okay. One more person. Her former boss, Cosmos. He runs a laundry shop at number 10 DLA Street. Number 10 DLA Street? Yes. Yes, that's true. Okay. Thank you for the information. Uh, officer, please, uh, we want you to do everything within your power to appraise us with information as regarding the investigation, please. Please. It's a promise. We will come up with a positive result. God bless you.
So this is what has been going on behind me? Yes. You've always thought you're the smartest, the prettiest, the one who gets whatever she wants. Sorry to disappoint you. The plan was for Casey to take the money after the divorce. Dump your sorry ass and get married to me and we relocate. So Casey, that was the plan? We have less than two weeks to do as I said. Sina, to think I called you my friend. I trusted you. I came here to share Casey's blackmail with you and this is what I get? Don't even stand there and act like a friend. Don't! If you valued me as a friend, you would have told me what was happening from the onset. But what did you do? You pretended and said you just wanted to seduce him and get married to him. Any? I feel like strangling you right now. I feel like strangling you. Nikki! 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 No. You killed her. I didn't kill her. It, it was a mistake. Hey. Hey. She's gone. You killed her. No. I, I didn't kill her. It was a mistake. I cannot be here with you. And where do you think you're going to? Under arrest for whatever you say now or do will be used against you in the court of honor. Yes, sir. Arrest her. Yes, sir. Move on. Move. Move. Take her. I warned you. Please let me go. I am sorry I cannot. I have so much desired you. I cannot let another man have you. You pay for this. <laughs> ah. Listen, I know you don't love me anymore. Even when you don't want to marry me. But I must have a taste of this. Boys! Hold up! Please, sorry, wait, I... Will you stop that madness? Release her and let her go. All of you are under arrest for kidnapping and attempt to rape. You have every right to remain silent because whatever comes out of your mouth will be used against you in the court of law. Officer! Sir! Arrest them. Move! I say move! 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 Uh, move now. Move. Officer, I'm in the room! Let me go with my phone. I say move! Don't push it. Don't even dare. Alright, move! Officer, yeah. I must commend you for your work well done. You did a wonderful job. You don't need to thank me that much. We only did our job. No, 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 no. You deserve it. And don't forget that police is your friend. Yes, I can see. Police is our friend. Madam, thank God. Um, you are right. You came back. I'm on my way. Officer, it's okay. I promise you I won't reward you handsomely for this. You don't know what you've done. 
Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you hungry? I asked to leave because Nikki added sleeping pills to my drink, brought in a young man to act like he was making love to me. She snapped and videoed the scene. She used it to blackmail me, to tell you that I want to leave to the village. Else, she will show you the pictures and the video, telling you that I brought in a young man to sleep with me on your matrimonial bed. To the market, buy three kilos of turkey. Make sure they cut it. Okay. Hurry up. Bring her.
Jesus. What kind of a human being is that? Huh? Huh? How, how do people come up with such an evil idea? How? My dear, that evil spirit lives in them. They don't think of it. It will just spring up. I was afraid. Maybe you were listening to her. Just like you did when I told you that she took a pill to abort her pregnancy. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, you see, my mother, I am very sorry for not believing you. I thought it was because she didn't like her. I also thought that was the reason why you left for the village. Not until a friend of hers, who planned to betray her, revealed to me that she was planted here by her now dead ex-boyfriend. In order to live with me, get married and then plot a divorce so she could um, end some of my properties, or maybe all of my properties, before going back to her ex-boyfriend. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's quite unfortunate. A shot of words. What is she there for? She is. But it's a blessing for hmm. you young men who have to be extremely careful. Especially myself, I still see you. Especially you. Yes, Papa. Yes, yes. To find you. Yes. Hmm. You have to be very, very careful. I've also learned my lesson never to pressure anyone against their wishes. We thank God that we have shaken off all the boundaries. Now, let's forward for our new wife. <laughs> let's celebrate her. <laughs> You're welcome, my dear. Thank you for your work. Again. <laughs>